Mr. President, Dr. Greco, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the American College of Osteopathic Internists, it is my privilege to present to you Dr. Robert G. Good to present the 2014 Memorial Lecture. Thank you. To the President of the ACOI, our distinguished board, past presidents, new fellows, master fellows, and the graduates of the Physician Leadership Program, as well as the friends of the ACOI. Now, when I was a little kid, I had this, uh, this compass. It always amazed me what moved that needle. Sometime in the late 1800s, another individual was looking at that, wondering the same. What really moved that needle? What kept it going in the same direction all the time? He, he realized that there was something behind not only the needle of that compass, but really behind all things, both visible and invisible, both matter and energy. During the time of his education, he didn't do so well. He left high school without a diploma. But eventually, he was able to achieve a PhD and uh, became rather successful. This person was not a leader in any industry or any organization. He was not a leader of a movement or government. He was not even a past president of the ACOI. <laughs> but he was Time Magazine's most influential man of the 20th century. He was Albert Einstein. It was his ideas that created his influence. It was what really moved that people. The American healthcare system has stayed rather stagnant in the last decade. And while we've had technological changes, the barometers of improving health care really haven't changed very much. Outcomes are really unchanged. Well, it's time for a change. Out of the ashes of this health care system, we must be able to influence our health care team to best use our resources to move that health care needle for our patients. Some of this is invisible changes of patient engagement, shared decision making, leading a team to best manage a population of people with both acute and chronic conditions. Guess what? This is the Phoenix Physician. Making a difference in people's lives by improving access, improving quality, truly moving the needle. Isn't that why we became physicians in the first place? The Phoenix Physician can do more. So today we're watching you all taking the next step as physicians becoming fellows in the ACOI and the graduates of our Physician Leadership Program. All of you have been influenced by others. And you're somebody else's hero. You're influencing people every day. Sometimes it doesn't take very much to be a person of influence. Recently, one of my patients came to me and needed some medical care. Uh, he was a plumber, and he was called to a home to fix a hot water heater. The owner said, you know, I'm not going to be home. Just come to the back door tomorrow sometime. I'll leave the back door of the basement open. Just come in, and you can do your thing. So the next day at 10 o'clock, there he was opens the back door, doors open like he says, he walks in, oh, there's a good sized dog there. And the dog is not wagging his tail. So he walks back, the dog's kind of watching him, he finds a hot water heater, he sets his toolbox down, he starts working and he feels like he's being watched. And he turns around, he looks up and there's a large parrot up in the rafters. And as he works, the parrot says, is that all you can do? He works away a little bit more, and the parrot says, is that all you can do? And he gets the, uh, the hot water heater fixed, and he goes to replace the, the, the cover, and the parrot says, is that all you can do? And he puts his tools back in his bag, and he starts walking out. The dog is following him. The parrot says, is that all you can do? As he gets to the door, he turns around, and he says, the parrot, is that all you can say? And the parrot says, sick him. <laughs> Parrot was a source of influence, which is why I need to attend to my patient. As I look around this room, 
I see several people who have significant influence on this organization and the people that we serve. For instance, Brian Donatio truly understands and knows the mission of the ACOI. He has worked faithfully for the past 20 years keeping that mission in front of multiple presidents. No easy task. Susan Stacy is a lady who organized this event but feels the mission. She helps organize this event and the convention each year. No question, she has influenced multiple program directors in the past. But it's really up to us as ACOI members to live the mission. We have before us difficult times. Changes in the law, change in the methodology, it's forcing us to look at patient care in a different way. Utilizing population health techniques and team-based health care. It's a great time to be the Phoenix physician, to live it in us, to take that mission feeling that we have for our profession and live it every day, taking care of our population. It's true whether you're a primary care physician, specialist, a hospitalist. It's true if you're retired or actively practicing because the mission does not end. One of my most influential mentors, and I'm sorry he's not here tonight, was Tony Ottaviani. Tony, uh, I think he's off as president of the AOF and couldn't be here tonight. But as a pulmonologist and critical care specialist, he not only taught me, but many other internal medicine physicians in critical care and through, they've gone through our residency program. As he became dean and director of medical education, his influence increased with thousands of students last year as president, the presidents of the ACOI, the American College of Osteopathic Emergency Physicians, the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians, for all students of Dr. O. So what Tony was really good at is multiplying the mission. People around him understood what he was about, what moved that needle the qualities that make us good physicians, those things we cannot see. You have that opportunity. And really you have that responsibility to encourage others to shine, starting at the core of your circle of influence, your children, your spouses, and other significant people. So look around this room. Just take a look. Some of the finest physicians in America are in this room right now. It's time to multiply the Phoenix physician. Aristotle taught us in 350 BC there's three elements to influence, credibility, emotion, and logic. Bob Good will tell you in 2014, define your mission, feel and live the mission, and multiply the Phoenix physician. Now go sick on Thank you.